Hey, what is up everyone? Norman from Future Student University here and welcome to another video in our Android series. Today's video will be about a blog post I wrote in 2015 and it's about how you can go back from an app, Android app APK to the code. So if you already have a finished app APK and you want to look, hey, what kind of code is in there? What kind of resources are in there? And what does the final product look like? This is the video for you. All right, so when I wrote this blog post back in 2015, there were no easy way to do it. You had to do some hacking on the, on the command line to go from an app APK back to the code. Now, there are easier solutions nowadays out there, and I'm gonna present you two of them in this video. If you want to learn more or want to see the old way um, just for fun, you can look at the blog post. I will link it in the description below. So the first tool I want to show you is javadecompilers.com. So let's open a new tool and head over there. And now all you got to do is actually upload an APK. I'm going to select the example project that comes with our Glide book. So it's a fairly small app, um, but it still has a bunch of code and we're going to see if you can go from this APK um, back to the code. So we're going to click upload and decompile and this is um, gonna take a minute and we will see you back then. All right, the upload um, has started and now we're going to wait for the processing to be done. Um, that should be just a couple of seconds and then we can actually dig into the code. And here we go. So everything is done and down here you can see um, the code of the app. So our app has the package IO future stood. So we can fold into here um, and it's actually in tutorials and it should be glide. And now here we are in our actual app um, code content. So if we jump into UI, for example, and then let's say menu content, you see um, back the original code um, of our app. Now this is a little simplified um, because during the compiling, everything that isn't necessary gets stripped away, um, but you still can see um, like all the menus, for example, in the app. And this is um, pretty much it. So you can dig into every single class of the app. Um, might be not as easy to read as real code with comments and stuff, um, but you still can see um, the structure of the app. You can look into how the compiling affects the content code or the code of the content and so on. They actually have a second tool too, um, that is the APK tool. And this is not about getting the code back. It's more about getting the resources. So taking a look at what kind of images come with the, um, with the app. But there's actually a better tool to do that. And this is the second tool I want to show you how you can decompile an Android app. And that is actually built in into Android Studio 3.0 on Neo. So here we are in Android Studio. Let me just show you the menu content file. This is the exact same as you have just seen. Um, so it actually works pretty well. So the tool I want to show you is under build and analyze APK. And it's the same process as uh, just a minute ago. You're just going to select the APK, you're going to say open, and it's going to compute the content of the APK. But the explorer here is a little bit different because you see everything off the APK. You don't just see the code, you also see all the other things that come with it um, from the manifest, but also the resources. And what I really like about this tool is that you can see how large um, the percentages of that APK. So our APK is, as you can see up here, like around 6.5 um, MB. But you also see that, for example, the single PNG takes up about 10% of our overall app. So if you find a way, maybe a smaller image for that, or maybe you can minimize it, we could save a significant amount um, of our app size. And everyone knows if you can make your app smaller, you will get more downloads. So if you haven't done this before, take a look at your app and see how the size is, um, is affected and maybe how you can minimize the, um, the app size. Now you can also take a look at the classes.dex, so that is where the actual code is hidden. And you will see the same structure as just uh, a minute ago. So if we drill down here again and um, let's say UI and this is menu content. So this thing we just looked at 
Um, here you can only look at the bytecode, so actually as the compiled um, result, and that makes it a little bit harder to read. So this is what we have just seen um, as Java code, and here's the bytecode version. Not as easy to read, that's why um, sometimes it's still convenient to use the javadecompilers.com um, app. There's also another one, um, which is decombryandroid.com, which I've used in the past, but it's down right now, so when I was recording the video, I had to switch to the other one. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you want to go from an app APK back to the code, you can use the online tool I've shown you, or you can analyze the content of the APK, including the images and everything else um, with the built-in tool in Android Studio. Feel free to play around with it. There's actually a lot more functionality in the Android Studio tool from comparing APKs and uh, doing ProGuard worlds and a lot of interesting stuff. I will give you a link in the description below if you want to learn more. If you've learned something in this video and you want to learn more about Android, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like to support us and make it rock.